All right, everyone. So Trump has released a tweet regarding the COVID relief package. In it, he says, and I quote, uh, Democrats are heartless. They don't want to give stimulus payments to people who desperately need the money and whose fault it was not that the plague came in from China. Go for the much higher numbers, Republicans. It all comes back to the USA anyway, one way or another. End of quote. So if he has been against the Democrats' extremely hefty relief package, why would he be telling the Republicans to go for much higher numbers? Well, that's what we are going to discuss. So let's provide our analysis. Now, before we begin the video, I'd like to ask you to uh, comment and share, uh, like the video. If this is your first time here at Logic Over Emotion, consider hitting that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the channel because here we bring the hard truth while others are busy virtue signaling. So now I must admit, it does seem a little strange that Trump would be um, encouraging the Republicans to produce a larger relief package. However, I believe once again, Trump is ahead uh, a few steps, you know, in his game plan. So let's start by setting the context by revisiting revisiting the current negotiations and what is holding them up. To summarize from a very high level, the Democrats don't like the Republicans' plan because uh, they claim it's just not enough and the Republicans don't like the Democrats' plan uh, because they say it you know, has a lot of fluff in it that is designed to cover budgets uh, of a lot of these blue cities that have been run poorly for years and they want to use this opportunity to provide them funding to basically cover for their mistakes. So this is what I see happening from here. I feel the Republicans will propose a much larger stimulus uh, relief package. However, what they will do is make sure that most of the money goes to where it needs to go. The American people. This puts the Democrats in a tough spot because what they really want out of this deal is to be able to provide you know, funding to these blue cities. Now, they claim that the Republican package isn't enough. So, you know, what does the excuse become now? The Republicans can say, uh, well, you didn't like the package because it, it didn't provide enough money, and now there's enough money. Uh, but without all the extra fluff in it, the relief package for the blue cities, I don't think the Democrats would be inclined to accept that offer. So it's a win-win for Trump, essentially, because if they don't accept, he can uh, turn around and say, see, this has nothing to do with the American people. Uh, they just want to bail out their evil friends in high places. They said the package was too small, wouldn't do enough, but now we are providing enough and it's still not enough. And then if they do accept, Trump can take partial credit in, you know, in it, which will help his presidential campaign. At this point, you're really starting to see how much smarter Trump is than the competition. Just like with the uh, mail-in voting, the Democrats pushed it so hard without even realizing the chinks in the armor. They were so... Uh, concerned with how they could use mail-in voting to cheat and steal a victory from Trump, you know, they didn't even realize that Trump could take full advantage of the situation as well by completely, you know, slowing the election and scrutinizing every mailed-in vote. Um, they realized, you know, there were technicalities that would allow for him to severely slow the count and recount of those votes. Now, we won't go much into detail around that in this video, uh, but just another example of the Democrats overplaying their hand. I'm looking forward to this chess match as we arrive closer to the election because you will start to see many more miscalculations out of the left. And keep in mind that Pelosi has stood firm in recent weeks, um, you know, saying that Democrats won't accept any package lower than $2.2 trillion. So the Republicans have the number they, they need to shoot for. Just build a $2.2 trillion package, remove all the fluff, and make a proposal and wait for the Democrats to start sweating. This, you know, also helps the American people more because, you know, that means more of the money to them than they would have initially got through the uh, GOP package. Uh, now, of course, the Democrats will find another, you know, reason to say they don't agree, but it will make it much more apparent uh, what their goals are. Because at this point, if the packages are the same from an overall numbers perspective, the only question left to ask is, well, what's the difference between the two packages? And this is the exact conversation that I think Trump intends to get started. He wants people to have more transparency into what these packages actually entail. If he can make you know, that happened, he wins this fight 100% uh, because he either gets the Democrats to accept and it helps the American people or the Democrats decline and we see that their true intentions were never about helping the average American. But what do you guys think? 
Am I overthinking this or is Trump once again putting the Democrats in a very tough spot? Um, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to um, like the video, comment on the video and subscribe and you guys take care.